In the yesterday program, in the calendar component, month and year available as a drop down list, but here, by clicking the next button only, we are allowed to select the next month and next year. This calendar. Here also, actually, we can use send keys because we have an edit box here. But I do not want to use send keys. I want to operate the calendar to pick up the required date. Here, we don't have drop down list element like yesterday calendar. Only by clicking the next button, we can able to select the next month and next year. So let us build a program to select the given date from this calendar by operating this calendar. Here I'm declaring a variable, date of flight. Let us input some sample date here. Some date, whatever it may be. Some month, I'm giving some, some sample here. These are data I want to pick from the calendar component. The data fly we are splitting based on the forward slash. Now DT variable will have day value, month variable will have May, year variable will have 2024. Now I made the code up to launching the application. The next code, we have to write the code for login. There's a name property available here. The name property available as password. I will use a type property to identify this element, submit. It's a button whose type property value as submit. Click. We have the code up to login. Right. Now I want to make Selenium to click on this element so that the calendar will be invoked. I'm spying the properties of this element, date of flight.
I can use either placeholder or ID property. I'll go with ID property. So we have to perform the click action. Once click action carried out on this element, we are getting this calendar. From here, your actual logic begins. It is showing the current date, 12th March 2022. Whatever the date I decided, this date need to be selected. I don't have the month or year as a drop down list like yesterday calendar. Is what we can do. We have to click the next button. How many times? Multiple many? Until the given date. Until the given date. No, no. Eight available inside the table. Only year and month. Month. year and month. Year and month. Okay. Here the year is 2024, the month May. What is the condition? Click the next button until we get the first year. I'm manually doing it until you get the year first. If the year okay, satisfied. We have to check the month. What is the month in our code? May. What is the month here? Meaning first we have to read this value, right? We have to read the year value. We have to read the month value. Until the month becomes May, click it. Then we have to write the logic to select the date from this table. Repeat. So what I will do, first I will read this value here. How to read this value? So get, this element, get the text of the element. To identify this element, there is a class property available here. I'll make Selenium to identify the element based on the class property. Get the text of the element. This I'll show in some variable say calendar year the year available in the calendar step by step i build the code i'm just printing that value value checking my code is reading that calendar year or not twenty twenty two your code able to read the calendar year the calendar year available in a variable called cal year okay <clears throat> now in our code the year variable contain the year you want to pick up 2024 the calendar year variable contain this value value present in the calendar the year variable contain the year you want to pick up so what's your logic now we have to move this calendar click the next button until this 2022 becomes the year you want to select 2024 if i know how many times i want to click the next button maybe i'll write the code to click the next button I'm inspecting the property of this element. See, it is an anchor element.
we have next here. It's the anchor element, the link text available next. Driver dot find element by the link text. Next dot click. It will click only one time. My code will click only the next button for one time. How many times you want to click? If I know 10 times I want to click, 20 times I want to click, I'll put this code inside the for loop. You know, for loop used to run the code for a specified number of times. Here I do not know how many times I want to click it. I know only one condition. Until this 2022 becomes 2024, I have to click it. What kind of loop we have to construct here? Not for loop. You have to go with? Why loop? Why loop with a condition? We have to go with a while loop with a condition. What is the condition? Calendar year. We have to compare with calendar year 2022. We have to compare with the year. Calendar year. We compare with year. If these two are not same, I'm using not operator. If not same, we have to click the next button <clears throat> in the very first iteration very first time the calendar year value 2022 the year you want to select is 2024 2022 we are comparing with 2024 false not false true this code will run. This will click the next button. Okay. Again, it go back. What is the calendar year value? You are reading again. You are you reading again after clicking next button? After clicking next button, the calendar year value will get updated, right? Every time you have to read and compare. Otherwise, always calendar year will have the first value 2022 only, even after clicking 20, 30 times also. Here we capture the calendar year, the beginning value 2022. After clicking next button, you have to update the calendar year variable with the recent value, correct? After clicking next, again you have to update the calendar year variable with this recent value. I am updating here. In the same calendar year variable, we are updating the new value. Click it, update calendar year with the current value. Click it, update calendar year with current value. Compare with the year you want to pick up. Not matching, click it, update the calendar year and compare. Not matching, click, update calendar year and compare. Not matching, not matching, not matching, not matching. Like this, it will go. Not matching. Click next button. Calendar year variable updated with 2024. Calendar year will have 2024 because you are every time you are updating right after clicking next button. Calendar year will have 2024. Year also has 2024. True, true. Not true, false. This code will not run. While true, then only the condition will run, code will run, right? Let me run this code. This will move the calendar up to the required year. Your code moves the calendar up to 2024. Your code moves the calendar up to the year 20. 24, right. Hope you understand this logic, right? A similar kind of logic we have to build for the month also. First, I will read the month value here into some other variable.
I'll make selenium to find this element. Out of finding the element, get the text property of the element. This I'm keeping in some variable, say calendar month. Calendar month will have January. Your month variable will have May here in this example. Same logic we have to build again. While calendar month equals ignore case, the month you want to pick up. If these two are not same, then only we have to click the next button. If the two are not same, click the next button. After clicking the next button, the month is getting updated, but your calendar month will have old value only. Again, calendar month you have to update with the new month displayed in the calendar. Let me run this code. Your code moves the calendar now up to the given year and month. You have given May 2024. Now you need to concentrate on the logic for selecting a date from the table. This is same concept like yesterday concept. We have to capture the TR elements, TD elements, get the text of the TD element, compare with the date you want to pick up, wherever the match occurs, click on the appropriate TD element. Same logic yesterday, whatever we created for selecting a date. I'm declaring a table element first. Say for example, calendar. I'll spy the properties of this calendar. Table element. There's a class available here. Then I'm creating two Java leads, one to one to store the TR element, other Java lead to store the TD elements. Rows equal to calendar dot find elements by the tag name TR. All TR elements we are capturing into a Java list called rows. There are multiple rows available. The first TR element contain headings, weekday names. I do not want a date. My date may, may be available from the second TR element till the last TR element somewhere in the TR elements. Zero to TR element available in the list we are skipping. Then, rose dot get a file dot find elements by the tag name td. This we have to store in a Java list called columns. In the very first iteration, all these TD elements will be loaded into columns. Maybe the date what you are trying to select may be available or may not available, we do not know. First, you have to need to have a check. If columns are, one second, no, no. There are multiple TD elements, right? We have to go for one more for loop. Zero, zero to TD element. Then columns are 
get of j dot we are reading the text property of the zeroth td element one by one we are reading the text property of all td elements maybe this i can keep in a temporary variable say calendar date calendar date if this calendar date i will compare with the calendar date i will compare with the date you want to select dt the calendar date i am comparing with the date i want to pick up if this condition satisfy we have to click the appropriate td element then i do not want to continue for the break i created some logic to select the date from the table to select the date from the calendar this loop we'll put a comment section here this is a code to navigate up to the specified year this loop navigate up to the specified month this is a code to select date so in the yesterday table element i mean calendar element this logic is not required because month available in the format of drop down list the year also available in the format of drop down list in the yesterday calendar but today calendar type is different but this logic is same in any table let me run this we have given some date 15th may 2024 mmdd by by format here the 15th may 2024 i'm giving some other date 22 say maybe zoom 2026 if really you have a option to use send keys if there is edit box this kind of lengthy code is not required directly we can use the send keys if you don't have a option to use the send keys then only this kind of logic need to be implemented it selected june 22 2026 any date you can check later right <coughs> see the calendar also little extension to the table concept 
any calendar time dates will be provided in the form of a table month and year different developers can create different date components but mostly month may be given as a drop down list year also may be available as a drop down list otherwise by clicking the next button you have to navigate to the required month and year so we have worked out on these two types of calendars clear about this right some student asked me a question about three four days back working with calendars understood now take the next topic automating automating mouse operations mouse operations automating mouse operations using actions class automating mouse operations using actions class the as of now the mouse operation what we are doing only the click action i want to somewhere in some application i have an option i have to perform double click action right click action i want to move the mouse over the element i want to do some drag and drop action how to automate all these kind of mouse operations on your web page selenium provided actions class actions is a class name actions class provided a set of predefined function to automate some keyboard and mouse operation you know to automate any keyboard action we can use send keys but using send keys as of now we are only inputting the data right any keyboard operation can be carried out using send keys i'll show you how not only entering the data enter escape f1 f2 alt control any keyboard function can be automated using send keys i'll show you how and to automate the mouse action we have a separate class in selenium called actions check out here in a package org.openkey.selenium.interactions openkey.selenium.interactions i here in the package openkey.selenium.interactions interactions is a package selenium.interactions selenium.user interactions nothing but interaction shortly here there is a class available called actions in the class name see what are the methods available inside this class we are seeing various methods belongs to the selenium actions class click click on the hold context click what do you mean by context click in a mouse what is context click so in a mouse what is actually context click operation right click is generally called context click you know when you right click then only you see the context menu right click is a simple word actually technical word right for the right right click is context click when i do right click you get a menu that menus are generally called context menu context click is nothing but right click double click drag and drop move the mouse over some element move to element key up up arrow key key down down arrow key send keys using send keys you can uh, you can perform any keyboard action build perform 
I'll explain what is build and perform. Remaining method name itself, it is clear what it is doing. I'll explain what is this build and what is this perform. Take some little notes about this actions class of the Selenium. Selenium provided, Selenium provided, actions class, Selenium provided actions class Selenium provided actions class this actions class provided this actions class provided um, better you list one by one this actions class provided send keys send keys move to element here it is move to element context click context click context click, double click, double click, drag and drop, drag and drop, build, build, Unperform methods, build unperform methods, to automate, to automate keyboard and mouse operations, to automate keyboard and mouse operations. to automate keyboard and mouse operations. Please check out this one. My code will open the Snapdeal application now. Praveen, Praveen, mute everybody. Okay, sir. Here, the code opening the snapdeal.com. This is the homepage of the snapdeal.com. Once again, I'm reloading it. When I move the mouse over some element, when I move the mouse over some element, then only corresponding options are getting visible here. I'm moving the mouse over the element home and kitchen. Home and kitchen related links are appearing here. When I move the mouse over the element electronics, the electronics related links are appearing on the right. Here I am doing it manually. I am moving the mouse, over, mouse manually. I want to make Selenium to do the same action. I want to make Selenium to perform the same action, moving the mouse over the element. Let's see how to do this. To perform any mouse action, what is the class available in the Selenium? Actions. All the methods, whatever I have listed, all are non-static methods. We know. To make use of any non-static method of any Java Selenium class, we must create a object for that class. The class name is Actions. Actions is a Selenium class name, provided a set of functions to automate keyboard and mouse actions. I am creating an object for this Actions class. Some name I am giving. 
Et Néné. Equal to new actions. Listen. While creating an object for Selenium Actions class, we have to supply the WebDriver object as a constructor. We have to supply the WebDriver object as an input, as a constructor. Why? Why we have to supply the WebDriver as an input? Let me explain. Why we have to supply the WebDriver object as an input while creating an object for Actions class? See, one page may have multiple drop-down list elements. While creating an object for a Selenium select class, we are supplying the drop-down list element as an input, correct? This select class belongs to drop-down list 1. Other select class belongs to drop-down list 2. We are supplying the web element, drop-down list element as a constructor. While creating an object for a Selenium select class. But here, we have to supply the web driver as a constructor input. Why? Try to understand this. What is the use of actions class? To automate some keyboard or mouse actions. Okay. So your code open gmail.com, for example. Your Selenium web driver invoke gmail.com. Let's say your code open gmail.com. Then you are Selenium clicking on the help link. You are Selenium clicking on the help link in the first window. What happened? What happened? It opened a new window, another window. Now, supposing this is my code. If I ask Selenium, perform some keyboard action, perform some mouse action, what is the question to Selenium now? Whether to perform this action on the first window or in the second window. I am saying perform some mouse operation. Where? In the first window or in the second window? That to be mentioned. So I supply web driver object as an input, meaning while runtime, if the driver focus available at window one, mouse actions are carried out on window one. If the driver focusing window two, the mouse actions are carried out on the window two. Hope you understand the point. While runtime, there may be a chance of multiple windows or multiple frames. Where you want to carry out this mouse action? Carry out the mouse action, whatever I have given, on the window where the driver focus available during runtime. My driver focus available at window 1, perform the mouse actions on the window 1. If my web driver focus available in the new window open, do some mouse actions on the new window. So while creating an object for Selenium Actions class, we must supply the web driver as input argument. Like there is a chance of multiple drop-down lists. There is a chance of multiple windows during runtime. So we have to supply the web driver object as a constructor. So driver is my object name. If my driver pointing window one, Whatever the most actions you have mentioned, performed on the window one. If the driver focus available in the new window open, all these most actions are carried out on the new window. Please confirm you understood this. There is a, as of now, whatever the code we are developing, we are seeing only one window, correct? But while runtime, there is a chance you get one more window. One window may have multiple windows, frames. If you open youtube.com, one home page will have multiple windows. Each one is one iframe. We'll talk about how to handle the frames, how to handle multiple browser windows, how to handle the alerts, pop-ups. Right. Now, all methods we can use as per your requirement. What is your requirement now? I want to move the mouse over the element, say for example, home and kitchen. What is the method? 
I want to move the mouse over the element home and kitchen. What is the method? Move to element. It is asking the element. Which element? Which element? I said move to element. Which element? There are multiple elements available in the page. The input is web element. There are hundreds of web elements available in the current page. Move to element where you have to supply the web element as input. Supposing I want to move the mouse over the element, home and kitchen. The home and kitchen web element we have to supply as input here. It's an anchor element. There's a text property here, home and kitchen. Anchor element, there's a text property, home and kitchen. So driver dot, web element it needs. You know, find element returns a web element by the link text. Right. So move the mouse over the specified element, home and kitchen. That is the instruction now. Let me run this code. Is the action performed? Not performed, right? Right. After specifying any keyboard or mouse action, I give one lastly two methods. Build, perform. First, we have to build the action. What is this build? Build compiles specified keyboard operation and make ready to run. Build compiles the specified keyboard or mouse action and make Selenium ready to run. Will not run, make ready to run, only compile the action. Then make it ready to run. To run, we have to use, perform this action. After specifying any keyboard or mouse operation of the action clock, finally we must use build and perform, then only the action will be performed. Build, compile the action, make Selenium ready to run. Perform will run the action. Let me run this code now. Still the page is getting loaded. Please observe now. Is the mouse move over the Home and kitchen or not? It's online team. Does your code moving the mouse over the home and kitchen or not? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Pointer is another place. The cursor went to home and kitchen, right? Yes. yes. But the mouse point available in the middle. Why? You please observe the page. Your cursor went to home and kitchen. It is showing the options belongs to home and kitchen. But the mouse pointer available somewhere in the page. What is happening? We are seeing the UI. We are seeing the UI. Selenium is not working on this UI. Selenium working on the inner HTML code. Correct? In the inner HTML code, cursor went to Home and kitchen. Understood? We are seeing the UI, but how Selenium working? In the HTML code of the page, correct? In the inner HTML code of the page, cursor went to, mouse pointer went to home and kitchen. Got it? Right. Now, understood people what happened? Why the mouse pointer in the middle, you understood now? Selenium is working on the inner HTML code of the page. 
Now again, after moving the mouse over here, I want to perform some right click action. I want to perform a right click action. First move the mouse over some element. There I want to perform some right click action. Tell me the code. Contest click. You see here, actions class has two methods with the same name. First of all, does a Java class can have two or more methods with the same name? You please observe the method names. First one is context click. Second one also context click. First one, there are no arguments. Second one asking one argument. Yes, a Java class can have two or more methods with the same name. One class can have two or more methods with the same name provided if the number of input arguments are different or data type is different. For the first method input, no input arguments. For the first context click method, there are no input arguments, zero. For the second context click method, there are one argument. I can create one more context click method with two, three arguments. A Java class can have two or more methods with the same name provided if the number of arguments are changing or data type is changing. Supposing I am designing a calculator application, some functionality. I created a method with the name sum. First, my intention is I want to sum two integers. Sum is my function name, two inputs, int v1, int v2, int value 1, int value 2. Next time, I want to create another function to sum two real numbers. Same function name sum, double v1, double v2. I want to create one more function to sum three integers. Function name sum, int v1, int v2, int v3. It is allowed in Java. A Java class can have two or more methods with the same name provided if the number of input arguments are different or data type is different. So finally here there is a method called context -ly. What is the first context -ly? There is no web element input. Wherever the cursor available during runtime, their right click operation perform. If you want to perform a right click action over a particular element, context -ly, Web element. Whatever the web element you specify, there the right click action will be performed. According to your coding requirement, you can choose it. Just I'm choosing it. Because already the mouse moved to some element, home and kitchen. Wherever the mouse available, there I want to perform the right click action. Let me run this code now. Is doing right click action on the home and kitchen. Got it? See, most of the methods move to element, context tree, drag and drop. In the method name itself, the functionality is clear. I don't need to give the notes about it. But better, you take some short notes about build and perform. Take it. Build. Take something. Build. Build it compiles it compiles it compiles the specified keyboard the specified keyboard and mouse actions the specified keyboard and mouse actions specified keyboard mouse actions then make ready to run. Make ready to run. It compile the specified keyboard mouse operations and make ready to run. Will not run. Make ready to run. Perform will run. Take it perform. It executes. It executes the compiled actions. It executes the compiled actions. It executes the compiled actions. Okay, right.
So the first program explaining you how to move the mouse over some element in the page and how to do some right click action in any element. If you want to use double click, same. We have the method called double click. Now, just I'm opening some other website, Java Query, jQueryUI.com, you know jQuery is a Java plugin actually, for development they use, Java developers will use this plugin. To develop this kind of things into Java development, in Java software development, they use them. If the developer wants to design a menu in a web page, in RHR we have a menu, right? Admin, PIM, there are many options, right? To develop such kind of functionalities, programmers will use jQueries. It's actually a free API. Leave it. I, my intention is not developing an application. Here I have an option called Droppable. Here I want to demonstrate drag and drop action. I'm doing it manually. I want to make Selenium to perform some drag and drop operation. Through the code, I want to perform some drag and drop action. Now I have the code up to opening the website jQueryUI.com. Here there is a link called Droppable. When I click Droppable, then only you are seeing this window. Droppable is a link. Droppable. We'll run this code. Right. Now, here I want to perform some drag and drop action. How to do this? In order to perform any mouse action, first we have to create an object for Selenium Actions class. I'm creating an object for the Selenium Actions class. Actions. New Actions. The WebDriver object. dot i'm using that drag and drop there's a method called drag and draw it is asking two elements source web element target web element here what is source web element this is a source element and this is a target element It is asking two web elements, source and target elements. I'll do one thing. First, I'll make Selenium to identify the elements. It needs source web element, target web element. They are elements, right? I'm declaring a two variables of type web element. First, let make Selenium to find out them. SRC element, source element, PRG, target element.
सोर्स एलिमेंट इक्वल टू दिस एलिमेंट राइट आई एम फाइंडिंग द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दिस एलिमेंट There is an ID property available here, draggable. So, driver dot find the element by its ID, draggable. The target element equal to. this id property droppable find the element by the id the droppable right later we continue this first let me run the code till this point here we are making selenium to just find the elements that's it we are not doing any drag and drop action yet i just made selenium to find out these elements no still it is running still it is executing after 20 seconds it is throwing an exception no such element exception see what element selenium not able to find selenium not able to identify the draggable element selenium not able to identify element with id property draggable while executing line number 29 draggable element it is trying to identify it is not able to identify throwing an exception no such element exception why perfect we have given the id so maybe we didn't uh, tell the cursor to move to the element why move to the element no we are not i am not doing any drag and drop action just i am asking selenium to identify the element See, I commented this code here while executing this statement only we are getting an error. Find the element, not able to find the element. When you get no such element exception, generally when you receive no such element exception, when there is a problem in finding the element. First of all, here there is a problem in finding the element. Hmm. Implicit weight, sir. implicitly wait already available for that reason it is waited for some time finally after 20 seconds it is throwing exception no such element exception find element are they in a different frames like one moment i'll show you the properties again i'm showing you the properties of this element what is the id property draggable i just copied and pasted only no chance of doing a mistake if i type the property value yes there is a chance of doing a mistake every time i am copying and pasting the property values there is one more big box one moment yes, sir what do you say uh, the both box are uh, including uh, one box which is in outside no you're, you're not clear uh, draggable um, uh, module and uh, droppable module are in one box one box what is this box 
Uh, what is this box? Big box? Uh, <laughs> Somebody else, I mean, previously one student answered it. It's different frame actually. I, I don't Perfect. know. Perfect. Let me show you the code here. In this example, I'm trying to demonstrate two concepts, not just drag and draw, how to handle the frames. Let's see, I'm showing you the properties here. I'm showing you the properties of this. It's a iframe. Clearly observe the HTML code. No, what is the tag name this one? HTML. What is HTML? See, okay, let's see. The main HTML window, correct? This is the first one, main HTML window, main window. This HTML window, main window has, has another HTML window inside. As of now, we are dealing only one HTML window, one HTML page. But in this application design, there is a HTML window inside another HTML window. There is a HTML window inside another HTML window. A window inside another window is generally called as a frame, iframe. Let me explain this topic. Let's say this is a main window. Your Selenium WebDriver focus available at main window. But in this application, there is one more HTML window inside this main window, correct? A window inside another window is called iframe. Here I have the elements. Here I have the elements, some elements. Let's say here we have some elements. If my code is driver dot find element, where is Selenium trying to find out the element? The Selenium trying to find out the element inside this area. It will not go to the inner HTML window. As a driver focus away at the main window, if your code is driver dot find element, Selenium will try to find out the element inside the main window. It will not go to the inner HTML window. Hope, hope you understand the point. Previously your code, your Selenium trying to find out the element only in the first window. It is not going to the inner window. So after 20 seconds, it is throwing exception, no such element exception. Because that element is not available in the main window, the element is available in the inner HTML window. You tell me what we have to do? My requirement, I want to make Selenium to find the element inside the inner HTML window. What to do? What to do? Driver focus should, uh, needs to be moved to the inner HTML. We have to move the driver focus to the frame. That is inner HTML window, nothing but a frame. In order to move the driver focus to the frame, the Selenium provided a command driver dot switch to move the driver focus to switch to switch to where frame. If it is alert, switch to alert. If it is a new window, switch to another window. We'll discuss one by one. Here we are moving the driver focus to the frame. Okay. Listen, 
here this topic is how to handle the frames supposing this is my main window is there any rule that only one frame should be there if you open youtube.com there will be multiple frames one window may have multiple frames let's say there are about four inner windows i mean inner html windows inside the main window meaning there are four frames its index is 0 1 2 3 i mean in the top from the top of the page in the from the beginning order actually here i have an option i can move the driver focus to the frame based on its index i can give the index if i say in this scenario in this scenario if i say driver dot switch to frame index is zero the driver focus will be shifted here driver dot switch to frame index one the driver focus will be shifted here i do not recommend the index because tomorrow generally you know in youtube the dynamically the windows will change so i do not go for the index i do not recommend the index and i have an option switch to frame if the frame has a name property we can give the name property if the frame has a name property we can give the name property otherwise the last option the frame element any properties to recognize the frame also we can use switch to frame either frame index or frame name or frame web element these are the three options we have i recommend you go with this last option if name available you go with the name if the name available you go with the name name not available choose any other properties to recognize the frame element understand the point note on this diagram i mean i'll give the notes about this topic is handling iframes handling iframes handling iframes first of all what is a iframe handling iframes to take this diagram i'll give the notes about this Sir, yes. Uh, will you same method even if there is a frame within an iframe? Yes. Okay. First, you have to move the driver focus to the first frame. There again, we have to move the driver focus to the inner frame. Okay, sir. Take the notes about it. A HTML window, a HTML window, see this. A HTML window, please have the same again HTML head, HTML body. It is one more HTML document, right? A HTML document, a HTML window inside another HTML window. A HTML window inside another HTML window. A HTML window inside another HTML window is called iframe. Is called iframe. A HTML document, HTML window inside another HTML window is called iframe. So here this is nothing but the iframe continuation the next paragraph initially initially selenium web driver focus initially 
Selenium WebDriver Focus will be present. Selenium WebDriver Focus will be present. Hmm. Where it will be present? Main At main window, first window. At main window. Initially, Selenium WebDriver Focus will be available at main window right continuation if you want to make selenium if you want to make selenium to identify elements if you want to make selenium to identify elements if you want to make selenium to identify elements present inside the frame if you want to make selenium to find out the elements present inside the frame what we have to do we have to move the driver focus we have to switch the driver focus we have to switch driver focus from main window from main window to the frame we have to switch driver focus to from main window to the frame we have to switch driver focus from main window to frame using 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 driver dot note on this using note on these three commands driver dot switch to frame driver dot switch to frame you can give either index of the frame name of the frame or any other property to recognize the frame element frame web element driver dot switch to frame either index of the frame name of the frame or any other property to recognize the frame element uniquely right hope you understand the topic how to handle the elements inside a frame now see now so previously we got the exception while running this code how to avoid that exception where where i have to write the command switch to You tell me the line number. After this line number, you have to write this command. Twenty-seven. Hmm? After twenty-eight line. Twenty-five, sir. No, not twenty-five. Twenty-seven. After clicking droppable only, we are getting it. After clicking droppable only, this page is coming. Before you make Selenium to find the elements inside a frame, we have to move the driver focus to the frame level. Here we are making Selenium to identify the elements inside a frame. So here I will write the code, correct? Here I can write the code. Driver dot switch to frame. You can give the see here. Switch to frame. Index of the frame. Name of the frame. Any other frame element. Any other properties to recognize the frame web element. I'm spying the properties of this frame element. I'm spying the properties of the frame element. There is a class property available, demo hyphen frame. Copying it. So here, driver dot, find the element by the class name. So we are moving the driver focus to the frame. Now driver focus will be shifted. 
driver focus will be shifted to the frame. Now here after Selenium can identify the elements inside the frame because now the driver focus available at frame level. Now I'll run the code. You will not get any exception now. Okay, then I created an object for the Selenium Actions class because I want to perform the drag and drop action. The source element, as per my code, it is SRC element. Here it is. The target element. Now, after specifying any keyboard or mouse operation, we must use build and perform. Now, let me run this code. I'm running this code. See, this action was performed now. Not just drag and drop, I have demonstrated even how to handle the elements present inside a frame. Have you understood this one? Online team, this is understood this code? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Now my question, okay, I perform some actions on the inner window, frame level. After doing some actions on the frame, again, I want to come back to the main window and do something. What to do? Shift the driver focus. Who to move? Who? Driver focus, we have to move back to the main window. Mm. It is not a frame. Main window is not a frame. Inner windows are generally referred as frame. If I want to move the driver focus back to the main window, what is the code? Driver dot. Same thing. Switch to. Switch to. Alert. No, here we should not use alert. Pop-up windows. If there is a pop-up, in the next class we will discuss about it. If I want to move the driver focus to a pop-up window display during runtime, alert during display during runtime, alert. Frame. Switch to window. But it is asking something string. Each window will have an ID. Each browser window will have an ID. Previously, when I run the Gmail script, we are, open, we are getting two windows, right? First window will have one ID, second window will have another ID. Each window will have an ID, driver dot, switch to this window or this window, we have to give the window IDs. Next, we'll discuss about it. Today, just I focus on the frame and mouse actions. If I want to move the focus back to the window, I need to have the window ID. In order to get the window IDs, Selenium WebDriver provides a method, get window handle and get window handles. After discussing get window handle, get window handles only, we learn, we can understand how to handle the multiple browser windows, how to switch the driver focus back to the window. Right. So in this program, we have focused only on how to perform the mouse drag and drop operation. I utilize this opportunity to explain how to handle the frame element. Right.
that I'll stop here today. And the Monday I'll continue with the topic, how to handle multiple browser windows. How to handle the multiple browser windows, how to get the window IDs using get window handle, get window handle. Previously we have observed one scenario, when I click a link in one page, it is automatically opening a new window or a new tab. How to make Selenium to identify the elements in the new window. Again, how you want to come back to this window, how to switch between the windows. Also we talk, we'll learn how to handle the alerts. Okay? Right, we continue Monday. Thank you. Thank you, online team. We'll continue Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.